in the primeval theater of Cretaceous dominance, where the echoes of thunderous footsteps reverberated through lush landscapes, there existed a monarch before the mighty T-Rex claimed its throne. Walking on two legs, the length of an albinosaurus might reach up to 10 meters or about the length of a school bus. Its weight ranged from 1.3 to 2.5 tons. This dinosaur, like other well-known members of the Tyrannosaurida family, had small forelimbs and strong hind limbs. They had just two fingers on each hand. A massive sturdy skull that may reach a length of one meter dangled at the end of their short necks. Members of the subfamily Albertosaurinae include the dinosaur Albertosaurus and its near cousin Gorgosaurus. Tyrannosaurus rex and Dasplodosaurus were examples of tyrannosaurids that belonged to the subfamily Tyrannosaurinae, while members of this subfamily were lighter built and had comparatively longer legs. These variations have led some paleontologists to hypothesize that Albertosaurus was a fast-moving predator. The upper jaw of Albertosaurus had 34 to 38 teeth, whereas the lower jaw contained 28 to 32 teeth. Like a steak knife, their teeth were serrated to cut into flesh. No proof that Albertosaurus or any other Tyrannosaurid possessed feathers has been found so far, despite the fact that a number of theropods had hair-like feathers covering them. Although just a tiny section of the Albertosaurus body is shown in the fossilized skin impressions, they demonstrate that the dinosaur possessed scales. Theoretically, feathers may have been present in certain areas of the dinosaur and may have been employed for courting or personal identification. In front of each eye, Albertosaurus had bony projections that resembled tiny horns. These horns may have been coated in colorful scales since they were probably used for courting displays or individual identity. In south-central Alberta, outcrops of the Horseshoe Canyon Formation include fossilized remnants of an Albertosaurus. They are located between 73.1 and 69.6 million years ago, and they may be found as far north as Edmonton and as far south as Drumheller. Additionally, Tyrannosaurid teeth, bones, and footprints have been found in the Wapiti Formation in the north, the Brazil Formation in the west, and the Street Mary River Formation in Alberta and Montana in the south. It's uncertain, however, whether these fossils are from a distinct Tyrannosaurid species or Albertosaurus. Living on the western border of the Western Interior Seaway, an inland body of water that divided North America in two by connecting the present-day Arctic Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico, was the subtropical coastal plain where Albertosaurus was found. Albertosaurus existed in a variety of habitats in response to shifting climatic conditions, declining sea levels, and drainage system modifications throughout a period of roughly 4 million years. These varied from chilly, dry woodland environments to warm, humid marshes. The vegetation was dominated by conifers and ginkgos, which created a canopy. The understory was made mostly of blooming plants and ferns. No eggs or eggshell pieces have been found for Albertosaurus or any other Tyrannosaurid, despite the fact that they are thought to have hatched. The reason for this might be because Tyrannosaurs nested in areas where it was unlikely that river silt would bury their eggs and lead them to later become petrified. Nonetheless, a recent research hypothesized that similar to many lizards and turtles, Tyrannosaurs could have deposited soft-shelled eggs. Compared to hard-shelled eggs, soft-shelled eggs are less prone to fossilize. All Tyrannosaurids, including Albertosaurus, were carnivores. Mature individuals often dined on dinosaurian megaherbivores, like horned and duck-billed dinosaurs, as shown by tooth marks found on the predator's bones. It is known that during dining, large Tyrannosaurids like Dospletosaurus and Tyrannosaurus rex ground up and consumed bones. The powerful jaws of the Albertosaurus made it possible for it to seize and cling to its prey. In contrast, most other theropods, like modern Komodo dragons, were limited to slashing bites. Tyrannosaurids lacked the forelimb length necessary to utilize their tiny forelimbs to seize prey. There is disagreement on how Albertosaurus behaved in social situations. Many Albertosaurus individuals' remains have been found in a bone bed at Dry Island Buffalo Jump Provincial Park. These people's ages span from 2 to 28 years old. This fossil collection has been viewed by some as proof that Albertosaurus exhibited gregarious behavior. Some have warned that a catastrophic catastrophe might be the cause of the bone buildup, however. A community of people who had come together during a drought may have been completely destroyed by this incident. As a result, the fossil assemblage may not accurately represent the behavior of an Albertosaurus.
The earliest evidence of Albertosaurus was found in 1884 close to the future drumheller, Alberta, along the Red Deer River. The finding was discovered by geologist Joseph Burr Turrell of the Geological Survey of Canada. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, keep exploring the mysteries of our planet's past.